The Behringer C2 is sold in a plastic carrier case as a set consisting of two microphones, two mic clips, phone windshield and a stereo bar, all included at a current price of, wait for it, £32. It has a minus 10 dB pad setting plus a high pass filter. It has a cardioid polar pattern and is an XLR mic, so 24 or 48 volts phantom power is needed. It has a slightly larger diaphragm size of 0.63 inches rather than the more normal 0.5. Its frequency response extends from 20 Hz to 20 kHz and it has an output impedance of just 75 ohms. The signal to noise ratio of this microphone is minus 75 dB, which is quite respectable. Looking at the frequency response graph and polar pattern, we can see that it is indeed a cardioid microphone with a slight roll off in the bass and a slope upwards from the mids to the treble with a peak around 10 kHz, indicating it is a slightly brighter sounding microphone. This is the Behringer C2 from the front. This is the Behringer C2 from the side. This is the Behringer C2 from the back. We're now back to the side and this is the Behringer C2 from the front. This is the sound of the Behringer C2 from the front. This is the Behringer C2 from the side. This is the Behringer C2 from the back. Back to the sides and this is the front. When you're outside you haven't got wall reflections to worry about so it can sound quite different. This is the sound of the Behringer C2 being used in the normal mode. Um, I haven't got a bass cutter or a high pass filter switched in. Now this microphone actually has a high pass filter on it. So if I switch it in, now I'm using the Behringer C2 with a bass cut. In other words, I've got a high pass filter switched in and it might sound slightly different in the bass, a bit lighter with my voice, especially with the microphone being close. It also has a 10 dB pad and this is the Behringer C2 being used with a 10 dB pad, much, much quieter, so you can record louder sounds without distortion. One thing about outdoor shots is it's important to put a windshield on the top of the Behringer C2 because it's quite sensitive to the wind, and if I take this off, it might pick some up. I'm not sure if that's working at all to pick up the sound, but this actually will pick up a lot of wind sounds. So what I do is outdoors, I generally, I would always put a windscreen on. So this is the sound of it in flat mode. This is now the sound of the Behringer C2 with the uh, bass cut on, just in case you're picking up traffic rumble from behind me. It's getting a little bit breezy. I don't think you're picking it up. So um, just try again. And now this is the Behringer C2 without the windshield on the top um, with a bass cut. I like the sound of the Behringer C2 a lot. I use it quite a bit. The only thing is it's very susceptible to wind noise outside, so you need a good uh, wind muff on the top there if you take it outdoors. But it's actually a very nice sounding microphone. It's low noise and I like the cleanness of its sound. The nice thing is that it comes in a box with two, a stereo bar, windshields, all for £32. That's a great bargain. Cheers for now. <laughs>